Okay, so I'm going to get my pen and paper after I finish this breast augmentation. We're going to talk about the profile of implants. Okay, let's talk about the profile of breast implants because I've noticed that, that patients are coming in and they're talking about a high profile or wanting a high profile or sometimes they don't want a high profile. They're concerned but all of it focuses on uh, this area of the chest. So sometimes I think people have the misunderstanding of what a high profile is or just what a profile is for an implant. So patients are thinking that a high profile will mean that the implant is coming up very high on the chest, but that's not what it means at all. It means something totally different. So I wanna show you, you know, this implant here is a full implant and this is their high profile implant. And this is what I use a lot of times. And this is related to these actually little diagrams over here. And so I just wanna kind of show you that, the different styles. Now, different manufacturers have different names for things, but in general terms, uh, there's a few different styles. So bear with me here. If you, if you look here, and we just kind of have an implant, uh, implant ladder here. And so if you look at a low implant, it will be this shape. If you look at one that is a medium implant, it will have a different shape. If you look at one that has a high profile, it will have a different shape. And then there are some that are kind of called like ultra high profile, ultra high. And there's, depending on the manufacturers, there's different, there's different ones. And, but this is a, gen, this is a general um, layout. So what the profile is referring to is actually this amount of projection from the chest wall. And so if you look at a real implant here, this is actually a high profile implant. And if we look at it, we're talking about the distance from the top of the implant down to the bottom of the implant. So that's what I've drawn here is a cross section of that implant as if you, you know, took a knife and cut it and then looked at it. So a high profile has more projection for the same amount of width. And if it has more projection for the same width, there's more silicone in there and so it's a larger implant. So for the same distance on side to side, so the same distance this way, a high profile implant has more projection. That's why it's called a high profile implant. It's giving you more oomph. And I typically will use the high profile implant. I use it 100% of the lift. So if you're gonna have a lift with an implant, I will always use a high profile implant. If you're going to have a simple breast augmentation, then I frequently use a high profile implant. That's the look that I tend to prefer, but I will also use some lower profile implants depending on what the patient desires. And there's some other uh, circumstances which we use a different profile, but just to try and keep this kind of simple, um, I, I use this probably 80% of the time if we're doing a breast augmentation. Um, and it's just because of where I am and the, the patients that I have and what I like, and that's kind of what we prefer. I never use the ultra high profile implants. So these ones I don't use at all. Um, they have the most projection for the same width of an implant. So they're, they're coming out more. Now you would think, oh, if you like high profile, maybe you would like ultra high profile even more because I have more projection, but that's not really the case. This ultra high profile implant here was designed for breast reconstruction and breast reconstruction is something completely different than what we're doing for cosmetic purposes. So breast reconstruction are for patients that have undergone a mastectomy. They've had their breast removed because of breast cancer. Either they have very likelihood of developing it, 
for genes because based on their genes or they actually do have breast cancer. So in that situation, the whole breast is removed. And because we're not just augmenting the breast, meaning if we have a breast augmentation, the breast is just the way it is and we're just making it bigger. But if you have a mastectomy for breast cancer, then all of the breast is removed. So you need a higher projecting implant because you've lost that breast. And so people do use the ultra high profile implants for cosmetic surgery for a breast lift with an implant or a breast augmentation, but I personally don't. I don't like the way it looks. I think it looks a little bit peculiar and it just looks too, there's too much projection. So there is too much of a good thing. And in my opinion, with implants, I don't use the ultra profile, but ultra high profile. But that's really what I want to explain to you, the difference between, you know, we're talking about the profile, it comes in a difference in projection in coming from your chest wall. That's where the higher profile is. And it doesn't mean that you're gonna have more volume up high. Uh, so I just wanted to clear that up. If you have any questions, please, by all means, leave them in the comment section if I wasn't clear, and I'd be happy to answer those. Or if you have any other suggestions for other videos, then I'm always happy to uh, do that as well. The main goal of all of this is to educate you so that you know that you're prepared before you have surgery with me or with anyone else, um, just to try and get the straight facts because there's a lot of misconceptions there about plastic surgery, particularly with breast implants. I usually joke with patients that everything you know about breast implants is wrong because there's so many different things that are just out there that people understand to be true that they're not like you don't have to have your implants change every 10 years for example so there's so many different misconceptions so this is all based on education trying to inform you so if you have any questions based on that please by all means email me or leave a comment uh, in the comment section thank you so much